What if I told you that one of the worst weeds is actually fully edible and also has some health benefits? Today we're going to explore three different ways that you can consume the dandelion. The dandelion is considered one of the most tenacious and common weeds, and right now they are popping up everywhere. The definition of a weed is a wild plant growing where it is unwanted. But since I have use for the dandelion, I don't consider it a weed. Like I said, today I'm going to show you three different ways that you can use several parts of the dandelion. We're going to use the flower heads to make dandelion honey, the flowers and the leaves to make some tea, and we're going to use the root as an alternative for coffee. The scent of the dandelion flower is very sweet and pleasant and I'm cutting the flowers off just above the stem. You can use the stem in teas and tinctures, however they're also a bit bitter so I don't want to use them to make the dandelion honey. When you gather your dandelions, try to pick them from a field that is not close to any roads and that hasn't been sprayed with any chemicals, for obvious reasons. I think that's enough. Now if you want to get the root of the dandelions, you have to do a little bit of digging work because they tend to have a very long tap root and uh, the bigger the plant, the bigger the tap root. Now this plant over here is pretty big, so I'm hoping for a very big tap root as well. Sometimes you'll find big roots, sometimes smaller ones. These are pretty decent and will be enough. This is the rest of the plant, but don't worry, we're gonna put it to good use. Some of the health benefits of the dandelion are that it can detoxify the liver, it can improve the immune system and help to fight off inflammation, and it can stimulate the appetite and help the digestion. Since we are talking about foraging wild plants and consumables, I have to add a little disclaimer here. First of all, make sure you know what you're foraging and what you are using. And make sure that you don't pick any plants that could be dangerous for you. Second, although the dandelion has multiple health benefits, it can also act as a mild diuretic, for example. And it could be harmful for people that are on certain medicine. I am not a doctor or a certified botanist, so always do your own research before you want to make or use any consumables. Okay, with that out of the way, let's make some dandelion recipes, starting off with dandelion honey. For this recipe, you're going to need 200 grams of flowers or more, one liter of water, a one-to-one -one ratio of sugar to liquid, and a few slices of lemon. Make sure to wash the flowers to get rid of any bugs or dust. After that, you strain off the flowers and put them in a pot on a stove, after which you add the liter of water. I always pre-boil my water to speed up the process. Time to heat things up. You're going to boil the flowers for about 15 minutes. Don't forget to add the lemon slices. Once that step is done, strain the liquid and weigh it. This is where the 1 to 1 ratio sugar to liquid comes in. You want to add as much sugar as the weight of the liquid. 
in my case 600 grams. Pour the liquid back into the pot and bring it to a boil again. Now you add the sugar. And yes, that is a lot of sugar. Keep stirring the liquid and try to determine how much there is, because you're going to boil off half of it. I add a cinnamon stick to it for extra flavor, but you don't have to do this. After you reduce the volume by half, it is time to pour it in a jar and let it cool off. And that's how you make dandelion honey. As you can see, it's really easy to do. Now I'm going to taste this after the other two recipes are done, but for now I'm going to put this to the side. Now it is time to make the dandelion tea. And to be honest, this couldn't be simpler. First, cut off any unwanted parts of the plant and clean them. This is also a good moment to check if there are any other plants in there apart from the dandelion. You can dry the parts outside or with a towel. Next, slice up the parts as small as you want. Now it is time to fully dry out the tea. You can do this by letting them dry in the sun, use a dehydrator, or in my case, I use the oven on the lowest heat for about an hour. And there it is, your own dandelion tea. And finally, we are going to make the root coffee. Since the roots are obviously in the ground, you want to rinse and clean them thoroughly. After that, you can leave them outside to dry a bit. I happen to have another root that I dug up earlier. Now you are going to cut up the roots into small pieces. Don't worry if they are still a bit too chunky. While the rest of the plant is dehydrating in the oven in the background, we are going to roast the roots of the dandelion the old fashioned way on the stove in a skillet. Now you can choose to roast the roots in the oven if you want to. In that case, you'll have to put them in for about half an hour on 200 degrees. But like I said, I'm going to do it the old fashioned way. So I have been roasting this for about four minutes now and believe it or not, it's starting to smell really nutty and chocolatey, almost like a brownie. It's really, really delicious. It's been about eight minutes and I think these are pretty much done. All right, let's grind them up. Try to grind the chunks down into a fine powder as much as you can. Yeah, there's still some, some big chunks in here. So I guess I have to use the uh, mortar and pestle, but... Uh... Oh my god, this smells delicious. It really smells like fresh coffee. It's a bit rough, but it will do. All right, it is time for a verdict. I have my dandelion root coffee over here, the dandelion tea, and of course, the dandelion flower honey. Let's start off with the coffee first. 
It actually smells like coffee. A little bit more burnt, a little bit more charred. Looks like coffee. Wow. Actually tastes really, really good. Um, it does taste like coffee, but it has a it has an additional flavor to it. It's a little bit more sweet through all the bitterness because it is bitter like coffee. I think there's something plant-like in it still, uh, but it, it's, it's really nice actually. So other than that, if you didn't tell me this was a different kind of coffee, I would say it was just a special brand of something. So I think this is a great alternative to coffee. The pro or con, depending on which way you look at it, is that it doesn't hold any caffeine. So great for drinking later in the day, uh, not so great if you want to wake up. Second will be the tea. Now, I'd let this steep for about 10 minutes, so it should be all good. It smells really plant-like, as you, I guess, expect from a herbal tea, or in this case, a dandelion tea, but it's not too bad. It reminds me of chamomile, chamomile tea. It almost has the same taste. It's not bitter. I expected this to be bitter because I put some of these stems in there as well. And the leaves tend to be very bitter, but this is not bitter at all. This is actually very pleasant. Mm. Really good. Yeah, I can get used to this. Now, last will be the dandelion honey. And I have been looking forward to this one. It's a little bit thinner than a regular honey, but it's still very syrupy like. The color is exactly the same as honey. Doesn't really particularly smell like honey, but here goes nothing. Oh yeah. Mm. It's not exactly the same as honey. It's of course very sweet. I put a cinnamon roll in there and I can taste it a little bit and it's funny enough it's a little bit more lemony and a little bit more flowery if that makes any sense but it tastes really really good so I am absolutely amazed how a common and annoying weed so to speak has all these benefits so try this yourself and let me know what you think hopefully this video gave you a new perspective on the dandelion if it did, please leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.